Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another review slash unboxing video. Today I'm going to be talking about my Gucci Prince Town loafers. So let's get into it. All right, so first I want to show you exactly how the shoes come brand new so you know what to expect. They come, of course, in the Gucci signature box that has a label on it describing which type of shoe it is and the size. And then take the lid off and we've got the certificate of authenticity and inside it describes some of Gucci's core values, etc. We've got two really nice dust bags. And then under the tissue paper, we have the shoes wrapped in plastic. And there you have it, that's how they come brand new. These particular Princeton loafers have the tiger patch on them. There are several variations of the same shoe with different patches and some with no patches at all. They feature the horse bit detail on each shoe. The entire inside is lined with lamb fur. The shoe is constructed of black leather and also has a leather sole with a small rubber heel pad. There's a leather patch on the heel area stamped with Gucci and also on the bottom uh, it, I don't know if you can see it, but it was stamped with Gucci on the bottom. I purchased these on the Gucci website about four months ago for $1,050 US dollars. I've worn them about 10 times so far. They are fairly fragile because they're made of leather and they do require proper care and maintenance. You can see some of the natural creasing in the leather along with some scuffs from hitting them on things. The sole is worn about like I expected, given that it's all leather. And I think a lot of people view this as being bad, but it is just the natural wearing process of leather. Now I want to talk about some of the things that I like and dislike about the shoes. So one thing I really like is how comfortable they are. They almost feel like slippers when you're wearing them, and they're just all around one of the most comfortable pair of loafers I've ever owned. So I'm really happy with that. Um, another thing I'm impressed with is the quality of the construction of the shoes. I have not babied these by any means. I've worn them and worn them hard and they've held up really well. So I'm impressed with that. One thing I dislike about them is how hot they are on the feet. I bought these for summertime use and they're so hot on the feet that I actually only wore them a few times during the summer. They just don't ventilate well and the fur is really warm. So some to keep in mind. And then just some things to be aware of um, and some things I want you to know if you're thinking about buying these is that the fur around the heel area drags the ground. And so what I did is I actually snipped some of those hairs off um, so that they didn't drag the ground and become dirty. That seemed to do the trick. Um, another thing is that you should always, when they're not in use, keep either a shoe tree or a piece of tissue paper stuffed in the shoes because if you don't, they start to buckle and you don't want that, that's bad. And finally, just take care of them. Have them professionally shined and polished every so often and they will last a long time and they'll look great. Thanks again, guys, for checking out the video. If you don't mind, go to my channel and check out some of my other review and unboxing videos. And feel free to comment below and ask any questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and stay tuned because I have a lot more review and unboxing videos to come. I'll see you next time.